that's what I was thinking of. OK. So in this case, this is, and I'm going to talk more about this. I'm going to talk about this at the end of class. Um, I said, so this is cosecant of 2x, uh, 2x plus 3 raised to the fourth. But in this case, this is, remember, if this was the cosecant raised to the fourth, which for some reason I was mistakenly going through, we'd, we usually write that right up in the fourth. So this is just this 2x plus 3 raised to the fourth. All right, but still, we have obviously a, um, we have two functions. So we can just say that our f of x is equal to cosecant of x, and our g of x is equal to 2x plus 3 raised to the fourth. Right? Now, to find the derivative of f of x, that's going to be negative cosecant of x times uh, cotangent of x, just to verify. Cosecant times tangent. No, times cotangent. Why did I write that in there? Then over here, you'd also see we'd have to go ahead and apply the chain rule again, right? You guys can see here, this is a function inside of another function. So you could actually have to do the chain rule again on this case. Um, hopefully, you guys can kind of see that this chain rule, g prime, hopefully, you guys maybe might be able to do this in your head by now for this one. This would be 4 times 2x plus 3 cubed times 2. So therefore, g prime of x equals 8 times 2x plus 3 cubed. Does everybody see how I did the chain rule in my head on this one? Anybody have any questions on this one? Because sometimes, yes, it's tied around. But again, the more and more we do of this, we're going to be, you know, you can quickly go through this. All right, so now we have our, we have our f, our f prime, our g, and our g prime, found everything. So now we just need to go through go through and um, apply our derivative. So y prime is now going to equal, we have our negative cosecant of g of x. So it's going to be negative cosecant of 2x plus 3 to the fourth, cotangent of 2x plus 3 raised to the fourth, and then times g prime of x, which in this case is going to be 8 times 2x plus 3 cubed. Now we can just go ahead and multiply our 8 in front. I'll just rewrite it. Negative 8 times cosecant of 2x plus 3. There you go. Yes? OK, so just remember, this is chain rule as well. To evaluate the chain rule here, you could say that, let's use h and j. h of x equals x to the fourth. j of x equals 2x plus 3. So therefore, h prime of x is 4x cubed. j prime of x is 2. So again, to use the chain rule one last time over here, you would use, um, you would use the derivative 4 times 2x plus 3 cubed and then times 2. And 2 times 4 is 8. Does that make sense? Yeah. 